Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's gonna be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. <clears throat> okay, so we have two cards here, guys. We have player, uh, charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested, okay? And then we have divine timing, wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, or waiting, okay? So clearly, you know, timing or the um, timing of this bond is, there's something to do with the timing of the bond, I should say, okay? Time is playing a large factor here um, when it comes to this relationship. Now, it's interesting because it also says, you know, stalemate, a wrong timing, but then it says perfect timing and waiting. So I wonder if something feels very stuck at this time, and it could be this person waiting for the right time to maybe, you know, fix something with you, solve something with you, or maybe you just feel like it was... Um, something happened where maybe you think that it happened way too quickly or you feel like things could have been um, handled in you know a different manner here because again it speaks about wrong timing but then it also says perfect timing so it could be that you feel maybe you met this person at a very uh, you know, um, like a time where things felt very all over the place and maybe you do want to connect to them or connect with them again, but you want it to be um, when things are a lot more mellow or things are a lot more easy going here. But it does say stalemate and waiting. So I do feel like there may be an energy of, you know, you feeling stuck or feeling like things have been stuck in this connection for quite some time. Now, with the player card, we do have charming, manipulative, karmic being tested. So some of you, you may feel like this, person true, this person's true colors have been revealed. You may feel like, uh, you know, they're very good with their words, but you may not trust every single thing that they have told you, okay? So you could definitely be <clears throat> questioning this person's intentions, um, and you could feel very connected to them, but also there's a lack of, you know, trust here. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> okay, the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles wanted to pop out here. Okay, so some of you could be involved with the Earth sign or a Fire sign. You are showing up in a very confident, uh, you know, energy, very independent energy with that Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck and we have the King of Cups. There is this questioning going on about, you know, when I was offering my emotions or when I was invested in this connection, was it not enough? Because with the King of Cups, it is someone who has a lot of emotions. They make their emotions known. Um, so you could resonate with this energy, but we have the Four of Cups. So there's definitely um, an energy here of feeling either neglected or feeling like what you were doing was not enough. This could be your energy or it could be your person's. Um, but what I see here is the Four of Cups is also someone feeling like they're not happy in the present moment, someone feeling like things are not really working out the way that they want them to. Okay, so there could be a lot of daydreaming, fantasizing going on. So I'm going to start off by seeing how this person's currently viewing you. <clears throat> okay. The moon, okay. So this person's viewing you as someone that, well, first of all, you know, when the moon comes out as, or especially in the position of how someone is viewing you, they don't know how to feel right now. There's a lot of mixed emotions and I feel like there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding you as well. Now, the second thing I will say, Aquarius, is this is someone who feels like they're not really sure where this connection is headed. So whether this is because you're not speaking to them, whether this is because you are speaking to them, but um, you know, it's like surface level conversations, they genuinely feel like they don't know enough. The moon also comes up when, um, you know, it could speak about suppressed emotions. <clears throat> so how they're viewing you as someone who is moving in a very discreet manner, possibly not really being vulnerable with them at this time, and they're not really sure where this is headed. I think that this person is viewing you as someone that they have a lot of questions for, or they're questioning the bond, right? So the moon comes out when there are things in the unknown, when there's some sort of confusion, when there's some sort of uncertainty. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. 
they do feel like you're thinking of them. They do feel, you know, um, your emotions because the moon does speak about intense emotions. Although, like I said, it does speak about suppressed emotions. So they are also viewing you as someone who may not want to be vulnerable with them at this time. Or they're viewing you as someone who is, you know, kind of um, using your intuition to guide you through the situation, but you're not necessarily, uh, you know, asking them what you're curious about or just being open with them. There's a lack of um, expression here, especially emotional expression is what I see. <clears throat> okay. So the Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles coming out in the challenge position kind of says a lot here. Not only can this speak about juggling, uh, you know, or a back and forth energy with the Nine of Swords, it could also speak about someone who feels like their actions are stressing them out. So, you know, this person could be thinking about how they treated you in the past, or they could be just thinking about the fact that they were very indecisive and they could be thinking about what it led to. And so with the Nine of Swords, it seems to be a lot of worry. Um, you know, they seem to be very stressed out here, could possibly even be losing sleep over this connection um, but the nine of swords is also kind of feeling very buried in your thoughts you're sitting you know with your thoughts you're not really um, you know revealing it to anyone and it seems like your person feels very stressed out they feel like they are um, this could even be repetitive thoughts or a very negative thinking pattern and with the two of pentacles it's like I don't know what to do you know, that's like a back and forth energy and the way that they're viewing you in the, in the moon energy says a lot as well because it's like they feel like they don't know what to do, but this could have a lot to do with not knowing where you stand or how you feel. And in no way am I blaming you, Aquarius. I just feel like, for example, if there's like a lack of communication that, you know, they feel like they're playing the guess, guessing game or they're jumping to um, assumptions here. And with the Nine of Swords, the scenario seems a lot worse in their mind than uh, the reality of it. The Nine of Swords could even be like unnecessary worry or when you're um, placing limiting beliefs on yourself. You're telling yourself something. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be true, but you, if you tell yourself that enough, you're going to believe it. So that's the kind of energy that's coming through here um, in the challenge position. And I do feel like with the Two of Pentacles also, this person could have been very indecisive in the past. And like I said, that could be the very thing that's stressing them out. Kind of like what would have happened if I was, you know, decisive or if I was able to make a choice, make a decision. You know, um, this person could be placing a lot of um, blame or fault on their self here um, for how they treated you. Or mainly what I'm getting is like for being very fickle or indecisive with that two of pentacles. <clears throat> the way that you are viewing them, three of wands. Okay. So, you know, you are viewing them as someone who is possibly their back is turned towards a situation at this time. You may feel like they're trying their best to move on or they're very focused on the future. Um, but there's a part of you that feels like when this person was involved with you, they weren't necessarily choosing a direction to go in because the three of wands could speak about a waiting game. It could speak about, um, you know, a plan that is needed in order for something to get off the ground here. And I feel like for many of you, there is this question of, well, why was this person indecisive or you know why would things take off between the both of us and then come to some sort of a stalemate like the divine timing card says there because i will say with the three of wands i sense like a waiting game so for many of you you may have you know um kind of like stopped investing in this situation or you may have withdrawn your energy from this person once you realize that it was more of a waiting game than things actually getting off the ground here and the way that you're viewing them is, okay, well, why did things have to, you know, either start and stop or why were things at, a, um, you know, a stalemate? You still feel that things are at a stalemate between this person. You still feel like a very stuck energy between you and this individual is what I sense. <clears throat> okay, so in your feelings, we have the uh, three of pentacles, okay, and we have the knight of pentacles. Seems like you still want to work with this person. If it's not about, you know, working together or being in a relationship, it could be working something out or finding a solution to something that is bothering you. So again, it doesn't have to be, you know, I want to reconcile with this person. It could be, I just want to get something off my chest or I just want to, um, I just want a form of closure, right? So for all of you, it's going to be different. But the Three of Pentacles does speak about coming to some sort of a mutual understanding and what I see in your feelings is you see the potential here, but you also feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys. Um, you also feel like things move very, very slowly between you and this individual with the Knight of Pentacles. 
And if it's not about the past where you feel like, yeah, you know, it, it was taking a while for things to get off the ground, it's in the current moment where you kind of feel like, yeah, you know, I would like to come to some sort of a mutual understanding, but I also feel like it would take a while for this person to regain my trust. Like the Knight of Pentacles could be when you're open to doing something, but you also understand that it's going to take some sort of time. So like even if you're open to speaking to this person, you're not really going to buy what they're telling you uh, right away. It's like, you know, they need to regain your trust or they need to actually prove that they mean what they say to you is what I see. <clears throat> Ace of Cups as well as the Devil. Some of you could be dealing uh, with a Capricorn here. Can you guys see that? Okay. So some of you could be um, dealing with a Capricorn here, but what I see is... There's like a part of you that wants a new beginning and then there's a part of you that feels like this is very unhealthy or this is very toxic. I'm getting an energy of some of you feeling like you want to either give this person another chance or sometimes when you think about the situation, you're like, okay, was, you know, did I give this person the benefit of the doubt? Or if it's not about that, it's kind of like, did I explore, you know, um, all the potential that there was? And I feel like the answer is yes, you have explored it because there is a reason why the devil is coming out with the Ace of Cups. It's like you may desire a new beginning, but you're also aware of, you know, something that's just very repetitive or something that just feels very toxic. It's almost like when you, you know, when you're operating from a heart space, you do miss this person. You do feel like, well, what if we were to have a new beginning? But then when you operate from a space of logic, you're like, well, it wasn't able to work, whether it's um, you know, someone's attachment style when it's, or whether it's, you know, someone's behavioral traits, the devil could be various things, but it does speak about something that is directly impacting the connection and it's still ongoing with it upright. Um, I also feel like for many of you, this could be you kind of feeling a little bit gripped by, you know, thoughts of this person or, um, you know, the devil could be obsessive thoughts or just feeling very attached to a situation. I will say it could be a very intense connection, although as much as you want a new beginning, the, the way that it's, uh, you know, the way that I'm receiving the download is you know that either um, it's there's something that's still ongoing that is toxic or you want a new beginning, but you also desperately want something else to end. Because I think that you're very aware of what has caused some sort of a stalemate between the both of you or what was, you know, an issue in the past. And that is something that is still affecting you on a mental level. Okay. <clears throat> the Nine of Swords is being clarified by the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. With the Nine of uh, Swords and the Two of Swords, this may be an individual who's currently in denial, okay? So with the Two of Swords, it could be that, you know, they're in between worlds. We do have the Two of Pentacles. It's definitely someone who's not making a decision. Um, and, you know, again, the Two of Swords does speak about denial or not seeing something clearly. It's either quite literally not seeing something clearly or choosing, picking and choosing what you want to acknowledge at this time. Now, with the Seven of Swords clarifying the Two of Pentacles, I do feel like this person is going back and forth about, you know, reaching out or, or you know, fixing something with you or feeling bad about the past. But with the Seven of Swords, it's not um, an energy that is really trustworthy. And I think that you guys are aware of this because the devil is in your feelings, which means you may sense with the Ace of Cups, this person wants a new beginning. You may desire to at least have a conversation with this person, but you're not blind to what is actually going on. So I feel like this person's true colors have been revealed and you're kind of like accepting it for what it is. Um, you know, if your question is, is this person stressed out or thinking about the fact that they were indecisive? I definitely feel like they are. And with the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, as much as they're thinking about what to do, when the Seven of Swords comes out with the Two of Pentacles, it's someone being very strategic. So there may be something that they, um, that is still ongoing that has affected this connection and as much as they want a new beginning with you they're still not ending something else or they're still not putting an end to something else right like even if it's within them so it doesn't always have to be another person or another situation it could be someone who is wanting a new beginning with you but they still don't want to give up another lifestyle or it's someone who wants a new beginning with you but they're going to tell you the right things but they're still but they still have their fickle ways do you know what i mean because the seven of swords again it's an energy that you can't trust it could be someone who's being dishonest with you Okay, but I do see a lot of strategy involved here. I think this person wants to work things out with you and they're really thinking long and hard about, well, how do I go about this, right? Okay, 
So in their feelings, we have the Fool card. So yeah, like I said, they definitely want a new beginning with you. And then we also have the Magician. This is someone manifesting some sort of a change here. But we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Devil, we have the Nine of Swords. There is an energy of this person almost wanting the situation to work out how they want it to work out. And, you know, this could be someone who is willing to say anything or do anything to have another chance with you. But I feel like for many of you, you may view them as, like the card um, says, uh, the player card, like charming or manipulative, that sort of thing. I do feel they want a new beginning. It's just they're not releasing something that is affecting this connection. You know, just being completely transparent here. And this is someone who's willing to fight for a connection with you, but they're also not willing to release something that no longer serves them. So it's, you know, all about perspective and all about, you know, what it is that you desire here. Yeah, we have the seven of wands and we also have the six of wands. They really want your attention and they're willing to speak to you, but there are certain things that they're still very defensive about, which of course you're gonna know your situation better than I will, but Seven of Wands could be someone who is, um, you know, standing their ground, or there's something here in particular that they know you are you disagree with, but they may sweep that under the rug, but they're willing to speak about other things. So it's like they want your attention, they wanna to speak to you, but there are certain things that they're not ready to speak about, there are certain things that they're still very defensive about, right? Whether it's defensive because they genuinely don't wanna speak about something, or whether it's defensive because they're feeling some sort of guilt, okay? Um, but I do see they really do want your attention. They do, uh, fee you know, they are viewing you as someone who's very successful, someone who receives a lot of attention, um, and they may even feel like very, very connected to you, but there's something that they're not changing is what I'm getting persistently. Um, so we have the star card, which is your energy, okay, and the potential outcome, and we also have the four of wands, wow. I see a lot of healing taking place here. What's the star, the two of wands, the four of wands, death card, yeah. So I see a lot of healing taking place here, guys, but with the two of wands, you know, there may be um, an energy of you kind of finalizing something where, you know, in terms of like, do I really want to wait, for example, if this is at a stalemate or do I want to move forward? Um, you know, you have the world in your hands. That's what the two of wands speaks about. And it seems to be your energy because it's uh, clarifying the star card, which means some of you, the ball is in your court or you have a decision to make in terms of what do I want moving forward? Um, and it seems that you have full control over uh, your reality or the reality of the situation at this time. We have the four of wands, which like like I said, speaks about reconciliation or someone wanting to come together. Um, and I did express that's how they're feeling. But with the death card clarifying the four of wands, I can read this two ways. It's either in order to come together with you, something else needs to end, like I mentioned, or number two, this person may say the right things to, um, you know, come together with you, or they may come in wanting a reconciliation but when we have the death card it speaks about divine intervention or something so for example if this person is if it's something to do with their behavioral traits and they're not changing that but they're still wanting to connect with you then the connection is just going to end by default because what they're doing is going to be revealed so with the four of wands and the death card that could be a possibility for a reconciliation but because it's not being built on a firm foundation it could cause an ending so i do see someone who is really again, feeling connected to you and wanting to connect to you, wanting your attention, wanting to speak to you, but it's almost like they're wanting to have their cake and eat it too, or they're wanting to connect with you, but there's also something else they're not ready to release. Um, the death card could speak about an ending or it could also speak about transformation, but the main message I'm getting is in order for a reconciliation to be successful, this person can't have both of the things that they want or they can't be in a connection with you but continue doing something else that's no longer serving them, okay? So my wonderful Aquarians, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.